And now, your first alert weather. Let's look at Jackson, 27 degrees out right now, overcast conditions, and we're starting to get that quick breeze into the region, which is quickly allowing things like the feels like temperature to go way down, 14 degrees right now in Jackson. Lows across western Wyoming tonight expected down into the lower tens with the wind chill most likely getting into the single digits and could even reach below zero once we head into late night hours tonight. Cloudy skies out right now. We could even see some late night snow showers into Jackson with a little bit of a push up from some of these snow showers further up north into western Wyoming and some of this could also get into this lower snake plane. We'll take a look at that more ex a little more uh, exactly in the Viper cast coming up later. But for now, we're seeing those snow showers out and across the southern highlands, across southeastern Idaho. Some of that's also getting into Barrow Lake, areas around Montpelier, Preston, Malad, also hitting areas around High 15 and I-84 on your drive south down towards Salt Lake, where they're really getting the bulk of the snow showers from this low pressure system that's just sitting off to our south and is going to continue to sit off to our south and then eventually move east heading into the day for tomorrow. What's going to replace this low pressure system is actually not going to be this incoming moisture right now, which is approaching Washington and Oregon, but a high pressure system that's actually going to start to build a little bit across the Pacific Northwest to give us some fairly dry conditions into the next couple of days. So let's get a quick glance at that and see how that's going to happen. You see this low pressure move on its way out. High pressure comes in a little bit. It'll give us mostly dry conditions heading into Monday and Tuesday and look for another high pressure system to actually replace that heading into Wednesday. And it's not going to be until late on Thursday night into early Friday before we get more scattered chances and more major impacts of snowfall back into eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. So we got three full days of mainly having these kind of stray snow showers stick within the region here for Monday through Wednesday. Let's take a look at that in the Vipercast. Heading in for the rest of the night tonight, snow coverage continues across southeastern Idaho with maybe occasional rounds working their way into this lower Snake River Plain and out also towards western Wyoming. Then we continue into Monday. Snow showers become even more isolated, but it comes more isolated around southeastern Idaho where most of the snow is staying put over the next day or two, and we could even maybe see a quick round of snow work its way into the upper Snake River Plain heading Monday overnight into Tuesday. Overall, though, most of the, that snowfall will look to be very light. If you notice an inch to two for Idaho Falls, and then nothing much else for everywhere else, except for where the snowfall is continuing over, which is going to be Soda Springs and Montpelier over the next few days. Four to eight inches more snowfall expected over there after they've already gotten about four to six inches from the past 24 hours in southeastern Idaho down towards Bear Lake. 29 in Preston for tomorrow, 26 in Lava Hot Springs, 28 in Montpelier. Again, the temperatures decreasing by a good bit compared to today. 29 in Jackson, 26 in San Anthony could face some morning fog for the upper Snake for Plain for tomorrow. 16 degrees in Salmon, 24 in Arco with partly cloudy conditions across much of central Idaho. Lastly, for the Snake River Plain, we'll start out with foggy conditions. We'll roll in some sunshine more for the afternoon, and we'll have highs in the mid to upper 20s there. Blackfoot eight-day forecast: 25 degrees, highs in the mid 20s for the next three days, and then we get up to, excuse me, 35 for Thursday when the snowfall returns. In Rexburg, 25 degrees, highs are going to be in the mid 20s for the next three days, lows in the tens, and we'll have some pretty cloudy conditions over the next couple days, leading to a snowy day. On Thursday, Jackson, isolated snow showers could be possible on Tuesday with stray rounds of snow over the next few days. Highs at 29 for Monday, 25 on Tuesday. Salmon, highs in the teens, lows in the single digits over the next couple days. Foggy conditions in the morning, partly cloudy conditions in the afternoon. Pocatello, foggy conditions possible for tomorrow early morning. 28 is our high. We're up to a high of almost 40 in time for Thursday. That might bring in a little bit of a mix of rain and snow for you on Thursday. Lastly, in Idaho Falls, foggy conditions expected over the next three days, leading to a snowy day on Thursday and Friday. But I will say this, though, again, we've gotten, or we're going to get, I should say, a break in a Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Usually when we have these breaks over the past couple days, it's been like a day, and then the snow comes back. But now, I, an extended period. A little bit of time where we exactly. just go and recover a bit, maybe take out some of that snow on the roads to make it so, okay, we're kind of prepared for the next all wave coming in. All those icy road packages that we've been having to deal with. Maybe exactly. Maybe just taking a little we'll bit of a, a chill. Little, yeah. There, yeah. A little bit of a winter break for exactly. the weather. Well, while we're